Now, you will watch a video about gender. The video is audio described for people who are blind or have low vision. In a classroom, two people present. We're going to take two minutes to talk about gender. Oh, this has nothing to do with me. Well, actually, gender does have to do with you. Not to me. Hold on. Everyone has a relationship with gender. Whether you have thought about gender a little or a lot, it has impacted you. How you are named, what clothes you wear, expectations about what jobs you can do, and you get the point. Yep, every single person watching this video has been taught about gender from the very beginning, from birth. We like to define people, right? So when people are born, society defines them by looking at their reproductive organs and labels them male or female. It's a girl! Well, actually, it's more complicated than that. Gender can be broken down into gender expression or gender identity. Let's look at some gender identities. I'm Sophie and I'm cisgender. The majority of people in our world identify as cisgender, sometimes without us even knowing it. This means I identify with the gender I was assigned at birth. When I was born, the doctor said, It's a girl. And I still identify as a woman today. Hi, I'm Tamara. I'm also a woman. So when I was a baby, man holds a blue blanket. Uh, it's a boy. Tamara pulls um, away the blanket, revealing a pink one. No. I'm a trans woman. I identify as a woman, even though when I was born, I was assigned something different. A man who is deaf signs. I'm Garrett. I'm a cisgender man. When I was born, everyone said... People throw blue balloons. It's a boy! And today, I identify as a man. Hi, I'm Bailey. People surround Bailey with pink. And I'm also a man, even though I was assigned female at birth. People tear away pink to reveal blue. I'm a trans man. Hi, I'm C. Hi, I'm Lindsay. And we're non-binary. For me, that means I don't identify as either a woman or a man. C and Lindsay are handed multicolored balloons. And for me, that means I don't identify with the gender at all. Lindsay tosses balloons. Okay, but I'm confused. I mean, what about gender and sexuality? Oh, I know. Um, sexuality is about who you're attracted to. Yes. So are you gay? Nope. Gender and sexuality are both part of our identities, but they're completely different categories. So don't assume someone's sexuality based on their gender. Now let's dive into gender expression. Let me ask you something. If you're a cis man, do you need a plaid shirt, bulging muscles, to have no room for tears, to love sports? Man is thrown a football. No. Man misses football. This might work for some and not others. Why? Because there's no one way to express masculinity or femininity. That's for you to decide. Everyone's allowed to have their own relationship to gender. But there are different things that may affect how the world views your gender. Or how you choose to express it. For example, makeup. Do you wear it? How do you wear it? How colorful do you make it? Hair. Is it short? Is it long? More natural? Braided? Did you shave it all off? Clothes. Do you wear skirts? Pants? Both? Do you accessorize? Body language. How do you walk? How do you sit? A person signs. All of these things can be expressions of gender. You might express your gender differently at different points in your life. For example, do you dress differently than you did as a middle schooler? Photo of a middle schooler in a yearbook. Uh, thankfully, gender expression can evolve as you grow as a person. Whew. Bottom line, you understand your identity better than anyone else. No matter how you identify, you deserve to be believed and respected. Gender includes gender identity and gender expression. Your gender may not be the same as your sex assigned at birth.